Hey, what's going on, people? Uh, Plumpy Man here, just doing another little video. Um, this is the latest score I picked up the other day. Um, I found a place here in the state where I live that does the, uh, <clears throat> as you can see here, the blue label Glocks. Um, which, if you don't know what that is, the blue label is, um, what's the tag that came on it? Um, it's for military and police, and you get a discount on it. Like most Glocks, like your Glock 22s, your Glock 17s, 19s, stuff like that. Uh, 9 millimeter 40 cals. Um, if you're a military or police, you can buy a your you can actually show them your ID and get a blue label Glock, and it'll save you $100. <clears throat> um, but honestly, the one I got, you don't actually save $100 on it, which is funny. I'll go ahead and open it up and show you. Um, yeah, I got a little tape on this just so you can't see the serial numbers of it, but uh. This is what I picked up the other day, just a couple days ago. Um, this is the new Glock 42. Uh, small size, single stack, 380. Um, pretty nice little gun. Um, we'll go ahead and safety check it. Is, it is loaded. I know that for a fact. Um, I don't think there's one in the chamber. Go ahead and check that out. Nope, nothing in the chamber. Um, up slide back so you guys can see um, that's it the new Glock 42 um, down there where I got it I stopped at a place called Gander Mountain and they had these in stock they were 450 plus tax well <clears throat> that place I bought it down there um, I'll go ahead and show you what they actually ran uh, there you go comes with two six round mags um, 340 bucks plus tax it's 360 out the door so that's it. Um, I know the first ones that came out, they had a lot of problems with the Glock 42s. Uh, we'll go ahead and check this again. Show you it is safe to check. There's nothing in it. Dry fire it. Uh, go ahead and try to break it down for you. There we go. Um, that's the slide and everything. It's still got the copper grease you can see in there. Comes from the factory like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of these two-piece springs, but I'm sure they got them figured out by now. But like I said, most people don't know it. When the first Glock 42s come out, they had a lot of stinking problems with them. <clears throat> Glock never formally came out and said they did any fixes or had problems with them. They just told them to send them back and they'd fix it for free. Well, the first Glock mags that came out, see if I can get this to focus here. See where it says O2 down here by my thumb? Um, the first... Glock 42 single stack mags that came out didn't say anything. The second version that came out uh, in early to middle 2014, they said 01. And the ones that come out now say 02, which they're the third manufacturing part of the mags. They redid them three times. <clears throat> I don't know if I can get you to check this out or see this inside here. Uh, we'll go ahead and look. I got a little light. I know I can get it to focus, I think. Um... There we go. Um, down in there, past the spring, if you can see it, that one, it's right at the front of my pinky down in there. There's a one. And most of the people don't know that the Glock 42s, when they first came out, they, there was no markings on them. Well, they redid the lower half of the Glocks, the slides and stuff. And this is the newest one. So the first ones didn't have any markings. The new ones say 01, uh, which is the second series of them. They were having some problems with this right here, the ejector. Um, that was causing a lot, a lot of problems for the Glock 42. Uh, just because it put so much pressure underneath it. And they didn't stamp these out very well. And it was catching on the bullets. It was actually splitting. Some of the cases that were strong enough to fire and actually jack a new shell in. It was actually splitting the case in half. Like, well, all the way open. And now they got that figured. I haven't even fired this thing yet. <clears throat> I just got it a couple days ago. Ammo is kind of hard to find, but this is going to be, uh, hopefully, this is going to be my new EDC. Uh, I'm going to try it out after shooting it and make sure everything functions correctly and all that. But it's pretty small, fits my hand perfect. Uh, I love this stinking thing. Um, can't go wrong with a Glock. But that's it. The new Glock 42. Uh, it's a 380 auto. 
Um, Gen 4 Glock. They just came out. Like I said, you can't beat the price if you can if you can get one of the blue labels. Pick one up. Like I said, 360 bucks. If not, it's going to cost you about 450, 460, something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's going to be my new EDC. If you guys know anything about it or have any tips or tricks, or whatever, I did go ahead and place an order for some uh, um, grip extensions. So I'll show in, the, in another video or something. But yeah, that's it. The new single stack Glock 42. Uh, with all the upgrade parts and stuff, so supposedly won't have any malfunctions or anything like that. I read a lot of reviews, and Glock supposedly has fixed everything. They never came out and said they actually had a problem, but they know they did. They just didn't want to publicly say it. <clears throat> but that's it. Glock 42. Let me know what you think. Thanks.